I've tried to study Jimmy Carter to the extent of my possibilities. His career, his meteoric career, I would say. I read his autobiography. I think he's, that is a good book. Well done and with sincerity. I have appreciated in Carter an idealistic man with a certain ethic principles that in my opinion have their roots in his uh, religious convictions. About his origin, I liked uh, his infants, his childhood, the fact that he was born in a farm and that he worked with his own hands. Actually, he's had a clean career, let's say without commitments, compromises, I mean. He's a well-prepared man, that's undoubtedly. He's an intelligent man. And also, apart from these facts, we can see he is a man that trusts himself. There is no doubt that his political career is a remarkable fact. Now, we also like certain statements made by Carter before the elections like the criticism on the intervention in Chile. His promise to find a solution to the situation of the Panama, of the Panama Canal. His statements, his critical statements on South Africa regime. And some of these problems, of course, seem to me positive statements, and we appreciate that. And to tell the truth, our relations with Ford and Kissinger were so bad that we wanted the coming of the Democrat administration in the United States. Also in the face of the international problems with a serious economic crisis and the problems of unemployment, in general, historically, the Republican administrations have been very, very rigid and that uh, rigidness has uh, helped to sharpen the economic crisis. Also traditionally, the Democrats have been more concerned for these problems, for the economic crisis and for unemployment. We cannot forget that it was uh, precisely in the years of the big crisis of 1930 when the election of Roosevelt took place and Roosevelt adopted certain measures which contributed to ameliorate the economic crisis, which of course had a repercussion in the economy, in the world economy. Now in general, our impressions on Carter are positive from the very first moment. Now I'm not sure, I'm not sure how will he continue his policy. I always think that in the present conditions it is not easy for the United States policy and that serious conflicts may arise between Carter's, Carter's ethic and the United States realities. And that conflict will present and constantly present itself and that we'll have to see what will prevail in that situation whether Carter's ethic convictions or the realities of a country with a role that the United States is playing in the world at present with the relations it has and with the allies it has. Do you think if it were up to Carter that there would be normal relations with Cuba? I think it depends on Carter fundamentally.
aunque no, no puedo afirmar so que, I cannot affirm que absolutamente en manos de Carter, that it is absolutely in the hands of Carter to solve the question. question. ¿Pero usted cree que él desea resolverla? Pienso que ha dado algunos indicios. I think he has uh, given some signs en ese sentido. in that sense. Muy todavía, digamos, Still very cautious, let's say, moderados. very moderate, Pero es que but our appreciation is that he has taken some steps which show un cierto, una a certain difference en la de las in connection anteriores. with the policy followed by the previous administrations. Besides the previous governments, where all of them compromised, Kennedy, se Kennedy was compromised de with the Bay of Pigs problem. Johnson, si yo Johnson followed the same policy. Nixon, Nixon tenía viejos agravios. had old uh, problems to solve con la revolución, with the Cuban Revolution que, because of the reasons I already mentioned Ford to you. La misma Ford and Kissinger followed the same line. Carter tiene Now Carter no está is not historically compromised con las with the aggressions against Cuba.